Oh, don't worry, love. I'll protect you. Oh, Alfie! <laughs> Come on, let's go, Alfie! An important review. They onto me. Fuck. Fucking hell, I'm in trouble, so I think. Ah. Uh, but I need to find to help my friend Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy. But I need to f help my friend. He's like, you know. We don't know where he is even. Everything's going just fine. Oh no. Oh, a job down.
That's great. They're gonna lose my house. I'm a fucking. I'm working for news, and they're gonna lose my job and you, uh, my house anyway. That, that, that's great. That's cool, you. Okay. Uh, Hello, Alex. I've checked the schedule for tonight. Nothing yeah. major to report. Certainly isn't anything you can't handle. Still, at least my daughter's in for advances. Yeah. That should liven things up a bit here. Keep up the good work. Yeah, why is everywhere the logo? What? What are those? That's great. I have like shitty tapes just. It's the latest episode of our drama yeah. series, Betterment, which tells the inspirational story of Emily Dennisworth and the brave doctors and technicians struggling and to help her shed her old habits. And this is Jenny, she's the floor manager. And Hi, Stacey. The new future. Mm. Strong language. That's okay. Colin. He, um... Do you know I just don't talk to Colin. We're getting involved in bringing your daughter to work, eh, Colin? Nah, nah, we don't believe in it. All right, come and sit next to Mum. <laughs> believe in what? Just days. Yeah. She's really happy. Atta girl. Ten seconds, everybody. For all of you. <clears throat> One day's a myth. That explains so much. Okay, we are going in five, uh, four, three. Why is it so weird looking? Good evening and welcome to the NNN. I'm Megan Wolf. And what? Who's this? You might be wondering. <laughs> well, it's Bring Your Daughter to Work NNN? Day here at Channel One. So I'm joined tonight by my foster daughter, Stacey. Say hello, Stacey. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 Here are the stories that matter to you. First up, with advance confirming that the nuclear fallout from the 20-week war is to blame for the drop in birth rates across the territories, we asked you what keeps you going. I know that I for one was quite deflated when I heard about this, but reading all your submissions has really put a <laughs> smile back on my face. This is from Sonia in Larkfordshire. I've had plenty of time to fill, so I've started a new hobby. Yeah. Since I started knitting, I barely remember that 85% of the country is sterile. My record <laughs> is this scarf. It's 124 <laughs> meters. And if you've started a new hobby, do write in and tell us about it. Next up, you know how we love your uncanny, <laughs> comestible coincidences and... I don't know about you, but I think this one really Beer. takes the biscuit. <laughs> Beer. I'm not sure what I'm more impressed by, Stacey. The things our viewers spot or the unbelievable way our menu centers <laughs> are now able to She's so happy to be there with her mom. Day. <laughs> Catherine from Burkledown sent us this saying, I can't huh? help but spot the face of poor departed Peter Clement in my fourth lager. Fuck you, moment. Peter. Oh, I'm not sure if I see it, Catherine, but then again, <laughs> I'm only on my third. <laughs> <laughs> Do keep those coming in. Another go. Uh, we've just got time for one more of your stories. <laughs> this one is an inspiring story of rehabilitation. Uh, that's okay. it. Just tell us who it's from. Yeah, and then read it out. Okay. Um, so this one says it's from John in Stokely. Before I was convicted, I'd never read a single book. But since I was released from Betterman, I haven't been able to stop. I'm even working at a library, and on our lunch breaks, Mr. Wordyworth spell checks my tattoos. We absolutely love hearing the <laughs> way our neighbours and team members have been able to become better people. Yeah, happiness. You know your story. Pure joy. Yeah. You can do this bit, Stacey. <laughs> no, you're right. Come on, give it a try. Let us know your stories here at the NNN. What the fuck? Right, a bit of a change of pace coming up here. You'll need to use the SFX buttons for the next segment, but advance have already selected when and what to use. Simple stuff. Just I can't even hear her. Orders. Good luck. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> I just want you to try. Coming back from the title's quite nice. Boop. First up tonight on the NNN, it's time to celebrate this week's team NNN. lottery winners live from the Shakespeare Theatre 
right here in the capital, we're going to hand over to Julia Salisbury. I suppose you don't think much of her either, eh, Stacey? She's got a lot more going for her than you wankers. <laughs> Surprising vote of approval there from <laughs> Stacey. Let's go live to that right now. Uh, Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this week's Team Awards. What? Of all the many duties I have as team what? manager, this is by far the most... Pleasant. I can only choose the one they told me to. They tell me to. As I so often say to you, the uneven path is now following the demise of Disrupt. Huh? behind us. This is the new future, and I say to you, I'm going to choose better now. I am delighted. I don't want to do those. By one of the oldest I don't like her. One. He was born over a hundred and seven years. Jesus. A warm team welcome. I love it. Alfie Touch for him, yeah. For the Alfie. Alfie. I don't so know you, but you're cool. Must have seen so much in your lifetime. What have been some of the highlights? Alfie? <laughs> Is he all right? <laughs> I think he might be dying there. His hearing aid isn't turned on. Oh, could you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, will you tell him that we'll buy him a brand new battery after the presentation? Yeah! Yeah, he says that's fine then. So turn it on, my boy! Come on! And I will, I will help him with that, yes. If you would. <laughs> Sorry, can't get the star. Oh, no, not for her. I'm hoping for him to laugh. You're 107 years old. Oh, don't bloody remind me. <laughs> Would you like to tell the audience what that's like? <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> Out there, in the dark. <laughs> Bless him, it's not just the ears. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, two sugars, please. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm the Prime Minister. God, not me. Story. Who are you really? No, no, I, I really am the Prime Minister. Oh, oh so you're a, a, a you know, a, a woman. Yeah, a woman. One, one <laughs> of women can do anything men can do these no, days. No, 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 no. Oh, can you piss standing up? <laughs> I can't say I've ever tried. No, I didn't think so. Two sugars, please, and not too much milk. Uh, <laughs> shall we get to the awards, Alfie? <laughs> yeah, Alfie. <laughs> When I was nine, I wanted a pet, so I asked me mum and pap. <laughs> there was no television then, back then, you know. We made our own entertainment out of coal and roadkill. <laughs> well, that's fascinating. <laughs> but they got me a pet, see? But it weren't a dog. They told me it were a dog. <gasps> it were a stone. A stone? Yeah. So I Poor Alfie. I a name for a dog back then, on account of the king having a patchy face. And I decided to introduce him to pretty little Gertie Thimble, who lived up the road. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> she threw my dog in the river. Oh, that was dick. I decided I'd never marry. <laughs> and that's the secret to your long life? Oh, no. I've been married seven times. Divorced eight. They would what? fix up with number three, see. Guess I'm just lucky. <laughs> Are we going back to the home soon? Uh, soon, <laughs> Alfie. <laughs> First, let's turn to the reason we're all here. The weekly Territory One Team Awards. No. First up tonight is a lady who really knows how to put in the extra hours. She works at a transition centre in Hamble Bamblebury and she has single-handedly allowed more families to unburden each other than any other nurse in Territory 1. <laughs> in the uneven path, she'd have been locked nope. up. Nope. No laughs for you. Tonight, she is being honoured as a team. Sneesnister. 
She's also really happy. Okay. Uh, are you here to change me? Just uh, give her a medal, Alfie. There's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let it steep too long. I think you're supposed to give me one of those. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Alfie, you can do it. There he goes. Look. <laughs> Higher. She doesn't have that hook downstairs, you know. <laughs> You'll have to go down. <laughs> Thank God those fractious times are behind us and now the territories are Yay! Oh, yeah. Nice medal. <laughs> yes, thank you. I've got it from here. Well done. Daphne Snifter, everybody. Now, open your envelope and find out what you've won. <laughs> what the fuck? Back there. She's stuck on one of Peter's homemade Eccles cakes. Got it. No. Hmm. I've won a holiday for two in Territory 15. <coughs> it used to be called San Palmarino, didn't it? As I believe it did, yes. Why couldn't we have stuck with that then? It's easier to remember. <laughs> We're all one nation now. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Isn't it still on fire? And Daphne Snister, everyone. <laughs> Yay, oh, they're funny, you're you my girl. <laughs> Next up tonight is a couple from Farnley who, after a rocky start, gotten gains to the assets and wealth. They're back, so excited. Really embraced the new future. Yeah, I think they know Southie. That's good. That's good. Petting zoo in their local area for all the local children to play. Please welcome Otho and Lavelia Jackson Randy Gannett. <laughs> okay. Alfie. Alfie. You know, when I was in the trenches, I had a pal called Scotty Wilson. He was from way up north, so I didn't understand a bloody word he said. But he were my best mate. Aww. Probably for the best. <laughs> and his best mate was Smudger. Yo, Lido was. Alfie should give them to you. Fucking rude. Leggy Sydney. She were a girl. You're fucking but rude, guys. They had a boy's name, so they shipped it to the front anyway. <laughs> First girl any of us has ever seen goes up. <laughs> She's dead now. Aww. They all are. Smudger and Scotty never made it home. Fiddly got shanked in You're fucking assholes. This is the old guy and his story. And Terry, she exploded quietly at home. Sydney got a fatal skin condition. <laughs> Scratch yourself to death. <laughs> Alfie, okay there? Alfie, great contribution. <laughs> so, Otho and Lavelia, a petting zoo. After we lost all our wealth, well, we discovered there were actually people who had never even owned a pony. I used to have three. No, you didn't get nothing. You get nothing. Uh, that's the type of for being rude to Alfie, wankers. Well, I'm sure we could debate that all night, but there's no time. So, let's see what you've won. Yes, but before we do, there's something I want to say to you. Oh, absolutely. Every citizen of the new future has my ear. Mm -hmm, yeah. When advance came to power, you took all of our wealth. You took the shirts off of our backs. Quite literally, in my case, I used to collect shirts. You might as well have the rest of it, too. Oh, oh. oh God, not again. They said it once, they've said it a thousand times. Bennies and the news are not good bedfellows. Keep those flappy bits on the Alex. Much better. Uh, and you are? Oh, no. What's a go? Oh. It isn't right and it isn't fair. You tell him, girl. That's my wife, you know. <laughs> I'll be your oh, dog. <laughs> Hello. Two mangy goats, <laughs> one mongrel dog called Kenneth, and a rooster that would bloody shut up! Can we get this over quickly with, please? As the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go again. Uh, hello, Alfie Tadge Badger. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Police brutality! Oh, don't worry, love. I'll 
Protect you. Oh, Alfie! <laughs> Come on, let's go, Alfie! Oh, oh. 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 You know, this reminds me of when I was in the twenties and we go to the, the promenade at Shining on Sea and watch all the pretty girls on the beach. Uh, there was black and white then, of course. Oh, oh. We'd visit the Penny Arcade and try to win a What the fuck? To take home for the family. We couldn't buy Police brutality! Place. You had to win it. Police brutality! Oh, it was so much. Alfie, help her! <laughs> Boys were boys, girls were girls, everyone else was recruited by the circuses. <laughs> there were loads of them, you see. Fuck it, we're gonna lose everything. There be tents and their candy floss. You hear the music, the pipe organ, drifting over the nearby fields. <laughs> My mum used to call it the most magical sound in the world. This was before she lost her hearing after giving a particularly loud round Poor of boy. <laughs> Yeah. What about his yeah. wife? Is she alive? Did you ever go to the circus? What's that, Alfie? Uh, the circus, it all goes behind. Yeah, just a tea pet. Well, that was an unexpected dose of naked nostalgia. <laughs> Some no, no last for you. The past. No last for That's you. That's why I look in joy and fervent admiration at the younger generation. So cohesive, <laughs> such a team. And with fertility falling nope. throughout the territories, we should value our fabulous new generation now. Fuck you, ever. you don't give a fuck about them, our you just want money from them. He is a go getter who really went and got him, helping to root out more than 170 disrupt collaborators in his own neighborhood. Since then, he's gone on to be a senior cohesion cadet leader and organized all of operation. <laughs> Our final winner tonight. Okay, Edwin for the winners here. <laughs> oh, I'll be tired. You should be in a transition center, you old non. You. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to finally meet you. We're very similar, in my opinion. <laughs> well, I've never been much of a role. Boo. <laughs> Nonsense, Prime Minister. Few have saved this country. You have fought enemies, foreign and domestic, with nine fists. As Alfie, kick his ass! Oh, Alfie, come on over here. Can find out what you want. Maybe it'll be a fist enlargement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. A year's internship as a behaviour coach is better. It's just what I've always wanted. Let's show the fools where they went wrong, eh? Well, actually, betterment is about rehabilitation, Edwin. Absolutely. Okay. And if they don't reintegrate, we retire. <sighs> Thank you for this award. And stay vigilant. Report to non cohesives Be a team player. <laughs> Concludes tonight's award. Uh, join me next week when hopefully things will be. I'll be kick his ass. Back to you, Megan. <laughs> Prime Minister Salisbury there at a highly eventful team awards. And you, Prime Minister. Who? Who? If only Peter Clare had some more of my qualities and less of his own, eh? I am nothing like you, Edwin. You clearly haven't understood a thing. Prime Minister. Okay. Steve, who's on the red carpet tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Enrolled. Um, and we're out. You know, somewhere else in this building, in a tiny room, all by themselves. Oh, Alex. One of the... What's that? You, you're off already? What? I know you had to take the day of work with Junior, but... Oh, I see. No luck still with Theo. I'm so sorry, darling. <laughs> of course. I'll speak to you later. She was talking about oh, me, I just listened to him. Still, I'm lucky to have him. Having him back in the chair. <laughs> Do you reckon he's watching us somewhere? <laughs> Laughing. I think he is. Jeremy, <laughs> are you watching us? Are you receiving us? Are you fucking with us? Oh, right. So she can swear. <laughs> what are the secrets of your recent past? Oh, it's a special well, tape. Do you know the people down 
this from everything? It used to be so much fun. Whoops. Yeah, I just have advanced everywhere now. Yeah, advanced, advanced. Grab who they can, and then you've got these generic links on the auto queue to glue it all together. They do know I have a Queen's View degree in journalism. Don't you wish you'd study something useful now, eh? <laughs> all this bring your daughter to work day. What a joke. Where is our honoured guest? I don't know, she's probably sniffing around that boy band, Hot Spot. Heat Rash. Hot Spot won it last year. Heat Rash. <laughs> God, they're running out of names, aren't they? I hear the computer comes up with them, the songs too. Ah, oh, there she is, and just in time too. That's ten seconds, everybody. What have you been up to? What's it to you? And we are going in Lovely. Five, <laughs> four, three. <laughs> Welcome back. Stacey's still here. Wishing she wasn't. Thanks, Stacey. <laughs> and in this segment, we're delighted to have sent Robin and Patrick to the movies. Yes. Patrick. The world premiere well, which Patrick? The, automated the lady or Lawrence Patrick Wonderland Patrick? And the late great Helena Canterbury Boatshoe. And all the stars are out tonight. We first covered this film almost five years ago, back when it was called The Medicated. Then, for mysterious reasons, the film was suddenly pulled the night before its release. Well, since then, executive producer George Focus has spent five long years polishing the film and turning it into a special mm -hmm. edition premiering tonight. With extensive state-of-the-art visual effects and a top-quality voice team, George says it's the movie he always wanted to make. Now, let's take a look at it. Whoa, Robo Crab. Oh, that's the asshole guy. Captain. I can't deconstruct it. Is it the same like the, as the first one? Is this a wig? You think I don't grow that? No, Dick, I'll kill you. Think of Seth. Chief Harrison! <laughs> what the fuck? I wish you were real, baby. Flesh and blood. Okay. Quasar. Find the palatable truth. There's a difference. In Quasar. You rusted. Captain. I'm buffering, bitch, you said. Got one on you. God damn it, lost it all! <sighs> Here's a map. What's a map? <laughs> Okay, so head north on Interstellar Avenue, left of the asteroid belt, and a tricky three-point turn at Uranus. What are these symbols? This He's still up on the ship. Right on the Uranus. Yes, yes we can <laughs> shut it down. But we have to ask Your ourselves. Uranus. Hey. Who are we? Do do do. Okay. Okay. Gosh, thrilling stuff. What did you think, Stacy? Oh shit. Say it. Just say it. The robots were all right. I guess. Whole gray man. Has got the star of the show, Robin. Uh. Ah, you, shall we? Yes, we are live. Fuck <laughs> you. I don't like you. I remember you. You're an asshole. Florence Blunderclatch, how has your evening been so far? I hope Magi awful. Absolutely oh, fuck. magical. <laughs> my most dear friends all gathered here to celebrate my work. One Where did room. they go? That note, with award season just around the corner, are you hoping to add to your collection for a third time? Well, I really couldn't say. <laughs> but if the association deigns, you know what? Those this does is more like you know appealing to me than you. Like say your face is. I, know of three I just don't like you for the first like no thing <laughs> where you we were Absolutely. in the news. Because I've won three, three little awards. <laughs> Each more deserved than the last. No. But it's safe to say that your career has gone supersonic in the last couple of years. I don't want to work for the band. It's stupid, well, boring. I don't like it. I just going there. home. That's Stephen Spellman. Oh no. The Stephen Spellman. Can't go home. home. I'm an unbelievable mind. I said, oh, no. Stephen, you know this really has been quite the ride. Did you know what he said? 
he agreed with me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and what do you attribute your success to? Well, if we're talking actual numbers, I'd have to say 60% talent, 30% nope. looks, and 10% passion, brackets general. Not to mention the incredible coverage on election night. Uh, it really was the start of it so all. So that dual. range of sick bags. Lawrence is Chandra. I don't want to say bad words about you. Hi, what uh, the fuck is that? Over here. Yeah, uh, it's NNN. <laughs> Who are oh, you? That's quite, the, quite the statement, Pete. Thank you so much. She has a bag on her head. <laughs> well, Patrick Bannon should be with Lil C for a comp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick! Thank you. Where is the other Patrick? <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm joined here by pop icon. It's Lil C. <laughs> And it's a little bag. <laughs> Country singer and alien worshipper, Billy Bob Jean Short. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lil C, what's with the bag? She knows what she's done. <laughs> oh. Well, we love this look. Is it one of yours? No, you know it's not. We don't do that anymore. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Your clothing label went bankrupt, what? didn't it? <laughs> yes, because a certain TV show failed to fulfill their contractual obligations. <laughs> Well, yeah. Great. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that's probably due to her new cosmetics and wellness brand. Ooh, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Let her show you. This oh. is our new eyeshadow oh. palette. She oh. calls this one Glands. Wow, it's scented. <laughs> wow, that was a surprise. And this next one, this is our new. Who is that in the back? Call this shade Lips. Oh. Oh, wow. Why is it so salty? It's organic. Mm. Okay, every Patrick this, is unlucky. This one, this body spray. Mm. This is a body Oh, no. Look out, really Patrick. Dodge. Your hormones <laughs> and actually smells like fertility. Dodge. Oh, right. Yeah. <coughs> wow. You feel that? I yeah. think we, we're going to lose another Patrick. Oh. All this is part of Lil C's oh. new range. Straight from my veins. Oh. Oh, oh no! Please, oh, uh, oh, what? So, wait, 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 um, what? You're retiring from the music industry. That must be hard. Well, she's way past her prime, Patrick. It was very hard for her to accept at first, <laughs> but the industry is very, very sure about these things. <laughs> well, you sure we can't convince you to release just one last album? We do actually have another album ready, but that's for the label to release in case she dies over the next ten years or so. Oh. What? Well, given the way she's going, you might get it by Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, Daddy. Okay. I'll let you get back. <laughs> now remember, we need the money. So she's also available for parties, <laughs> weddings, funerals, and bar mitzvahs. Oh no, not Thank this guy. You. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see there. Oh. Lovely oh, fella. Robin has got hold of Jesus. <laughs> It absolutely is, Patrick. Jesus, I almost can't believe you invented that look. Yeah, you know, I made my ex-boyfriend wear it in the police line. He got off. Fed you. Listen, feel close to me. Right. Yes. And to be close is to be human. And to be human is to be apart. Well, that was good. Write that down. Hi, right, Rachel. Write that one down. It's good to see you've done so well for yourself. Thank you, my child. You know, I have you. Hey, where I go wrong? never feel sure supporting me and my music. I never would have transcended. Now, there are Don't call transcending. It's you must shit. Be for office? Is there any truth to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely true. Yeah. But you're aware that elections have been suspended in the territories. Uh, no, I'm. I'm not running to be no prime minister. Oh, you're not. No. I'm gonna be king of the moon. Oh fuck. You're stupid. King of the moon? Yes. No, sorry. You're running for king of the moon? No, not running. It's my birthright. Ah, uh -huh. right. and does this have anything to do with promoting your upcoming hip opera, Chase and Space? Oh, yeah. Cynicism is so on moon. Ah, uh, okay. And how long will this last? Will it go the way of last year's living as a mouse fiasco? Or maybe your 
foray into ventriloquist beats. I don't make the moon rules. I merely live by them. <laughs> they did. How am I supposed to talk about something I haven't even seen? Oh, come on, you know what they all say. It's just the usual shit, isn't it? <laughs> gotcha. That's track for Jesus Christ made us laugh. Okay, thank you for your time <laughs> and good luck with your new life in space. And with you, my child. Oh, no. By Fru Fru Pumpkin. Oh, no, so you think you do. But actually, it's his cousin that does his shoes better. Oh, Megan. <laughs> That's what. Success looks like. Yeah, success. I'm gonna see if we can grab someone else to have a chat. Back to you. Being mental, I think more right. I think Stacy and I are probably in quite enough trouble where we are. So, yeah. The toilet. Big names. I didn't catch the first thing. From your generation's perspective, you won't like my opinions. Oh, go on, try me. <laughs> oh. Well, Bumbanonk is so old he's like one week away from the transition centre. So who cares? And Lucy was cool when I was like 12 or something, but now she's just another fucking loony. And Jesus <laughs> is a disrupt loving wanker who should have died with the rest of them three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you agree with me? No, you're right. I don't like your opinion. But thankfully, we can go back to Patrick now, <laughs> who has another familiar face to catch up with. Oh, Patrick! Here we go. <laughs> okay. It's absolutely electric, Megan. I can't quite believe it either, but he's here. It's Crazy Neil! Hey. Uh, crazy oh, Neil! <laughs> Neil, our audience is just... I didn't think you crazy because you're not an advert. <laughs> What's it like suddenly being so popular? Do the dance! It's crazy! People stop me in the streets, they expose themselves. Come on. They write me through. <laughs> you know, the stalker has become the stalky. Oh, oh Daisy! Come, come back! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's been the most challenging thing? Well, that was so heated over there. It's Places like this. They miss it because of crazy Neil. Rock stars, they're real crazy, and crazy Neil knows crazy, and I'm used to being <laughs> yeah, the boy. whack job in the room. Hey, yeah, hey. I can <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. Hey Neil, where's the crazy deal? <gasps> you're gonna be doing the crazy deals. We got crazy deals on chairs! You yeah. make your socks off? No, I can't say that I have. Makes a mess of the carpet. But what do you say? We got a deal? Uh, well, yeah. we got Betty Andrews' handbag. It's real leather. It's real cheap. And it even contains our heart medicine. <gasps> crazy. Uh, no, really. You've got, You've got the bag. You're really busting my balls. What can I do to convince you? Let me throw in my wife. What does he can do? This is Neil. It's the latest model. Not a scratch on her. He's oh, getting like away, even. What do you say? We got a deal. Look, I, I really or can't she, take she I don't know. Yes, you can. I got loads of them. Oh. Come on down. A crazy deal. <laughs> we got crazy deals. <laughs> what, wait, on wait, we got have... crazy deals on meals. We got okay. crazy deals on wheels. We got wheels on meals. <laughs> meals on wheels. We need to get endangered seals. And we got meals. With endangered seals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crazy <you>. Neil. <laughs> It's and you have a wife. Dream come true to meet a hero. How about that, Megan? The man himself. Yeah. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> Back to you. Yeah. <laughs> um. Do you want to go to the sports board? <laughs> and the automated really oh. does seem to have unstoppable written all over it because despite Boris Horsey in Hours magazine calling it Lawrence Blunderclatch's overly long suicide note in a review which ends with the okay, words okay, and he <laughs> film which is free to all <laughs> residents of the territories has seen record pre-bookings and looks set to run for months and months Where's but my antenna? let's go back to those lucky few seeing it tonight oh, I'm so jealous Robin, you see. Come on, let's go, Robin. Is it cheat? Well, it's certainly not my average evening, Megan. And to top it off, I'm joined by famous or possibly infamous CEO Sophia. What are you talking about? May I oh. call you that? That's my name, honey. She's going to check on her <laughs> daughter. And who are you wearing tonight? Actually, this is from Remington's Fist Kate, our clothing line, and it's called Grace and Plenty. There's only ten of them in the whole world. Get the crazy new back. 
nine former fisherwomen. She was cool at least. To see the state of their hands, it's <laughs> inspirational. Wow. And so tonight's film, The Automated, is hyped as a cautionary tale. Well, <laughs> this guy in the back. Well, Hello. it's funny you should ask that. Nobody wants to talk with me. Oh. <laughs> on that unfortunate incident with a toy a few years ago. Ah, yes. Mr. Snugglehug. So I'm sure yeah, Snugglehug. What? That. He was cool. We said, what if, instead of a deadly toy, we make a softer, more feminine version, you know, slap a wig on it or something, <laughs> and teach it how to love. I mean, the technology mm. is still mm. decades away from where we actually need to pull it off. Oh, no. It's a dream worth chasing, don't you think? I think we're going to be getting soon another snuggle hug and it's not going to be good. Probably not. <laughs> How did you know about that dream? It was one time at flute camp and I haven't licked a toad again mm. since. What? It was just an example. What? <laughs> okay. I knew that. Obviously. Um, uh oh. That's I gonna be heated. Joking. Of course. <laughs> of course. Well, I should. Uh, I should probably. Yes. Yes. Well, maybe you about are. to. You know. The, the movie. Right. Yeah. So I'll do. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Whew. And I'll throw it back to the studio. <laughs> Go hide under my duvet for a couple of months in shame. Megan? Yeah. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Lucky you and enjoy the movie. The Automated opens in cinemas across the territories this weekend. What a star studded event. Tasty. I use a snuggle and a hug. Go to the cinema these days. <laughs> of course. We'll be back after these messages. I still go to the cinema. You should get yourself a video recorder, like the one at the home. A video recorder, it's just not the same, is it? You're right, it's better. No unevens chatting and chewing all the way. Yeah, through. what about a kiss and cuddle on the back? I like you, you like anymore. me. I don't like to go to the cinemas as well. I know it's weird for most of the people, but I don't like to go to the cinema. Nothing's wrong with me. Feeling better? All right, you are. I've got to get set up for heat rash. I think Ronnie's on something. I know he is. It was on his mm. rider. <laughs> Apparently, it's medicinal. Ronnie's always high. Give him orange juice. Oh, <laughs> God, she speaks. He's a stupid cunt. And just like that, you wish she wouldn't. <laughs> An original composition of cooperation and cohesiveness. A song of solidarity for a steadfast society. Uh, no previous songwriting. Oh, okay. it's so cool. What the uh, crap are you guys? Oh, here's What's wrong with your hair? She's going to be interviewing you. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is her... Uh, this is Stacy. Well, hello there, Stacy. Fuck off, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. If we can't be polite, you're gonna have to wait in the dressing room. <laughs> Whatever. Do you want to go and wait in the dressing room? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> no. No what? Oh. <laughs> no. Thank you. Okay. And sit up straight. You're ruining my shot. <laughs> That's ten seconds, everybody. No co. Fucking right, no co. What's that? What's what's no co? What's no co? In five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Let's go. Welcome back for our final segment tonight. Stacy and I are delighted to be joined. By Heat Rash. <laughs> yeah. Their new album, Girls and Why We Love Them All, comes out this week. What the hell is wrong so, with their hair? Get this right. It's Nolan. I write the songs. Ronnie. For, that's what it says on my tattoo. Oh, you've got a oh. tattoo of your name on yourself. That's okay. fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must be Chinny. <laughs> Why do they call you Chinny? Uh, it's because of this ugly old thing. Oh, I don't know what you mean. God, Chin? It's so fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Dale. Crikey, Dale, you do not look old enough to be in a band. I get that a lot. I'm actually 23, the oldest one. Oh. I have a growth disorder. Okay. I'm so sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't know that. It's so co cool, pretty. Uh, I was only messing with you. He's actually 58. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, I see. You're going to be a handful, aren't you, oh, boys? Mum. <laughs> oh, and you must be TP. Hmm, what does TP stand for? <coughs> Tiny prick. <laughs> Tiny penis. <laughs> it stands for team player i see how long have you had that nickname ever since nolan decided terry Prodnos was a shit name for a member of a boy band 
No co, Ronnie. Yeah, no co, Ronnie. No. Sorry, what does no co mean? Ah, it's the opposite of soco. Oh, yeah. Take soco. Yeah, so cohesive. You pre say cool. Right, okay. Thank <laughs> you, Stacey. <laughs> Sorry about her. Not your fault. She's uneven. So, you guys met through a popular show on one of our rival channels, didn't you? Yeah, team players with a Z. <laughs> So, how did that okay, work? Okay, yeah, that's well, actually, good. Dale and I knew each other from school. We were actually class. Yeah, you're good, <laughs> mate. Take no, mate. Give someone else a chance. We all went on team players. We all auditioned. Mm -hmm. The judges put us into bands. And, um, yeah, we went to their houses and they just put us into bands. Yeah. It's an example of how we're greater than the sum of our parts when we work in harmony. Uh -huh. And occasionally singing it. <laughs> so, every week on the show, they get these bands and uh, they give them a song that the producer just found. From under the bin somewhere. Actually, I but write the song. <laughs> and um, yeah, the same thing. The public would phone in and decide which song they like best. Right, and then uh, the losers would be eliminated. <sighs> yeah. Mom, what? No co, pretty so no co. The band who get the most approval gets to play their song again. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, so what happens to the losers then? Mum. <laughs> what do I keep doing wrong? We don't use the L word anymore. Oh. <laughs> Would you please stop saying that? Oh, That word poor boys. is a pejorative. It's a word designed to diminish. At Go Getters, I learned very early that we only win when everybody wins. <sighs> that's not real life, is it? That's just sports board, no? I thought you were SoCo. Yeah, I, I am. I am SoCo. Nah, you're a shrinker. Can't be friends with shrinkers. She doesn't know what you're talking about. She doesn't understand. Uh, so I do understand, actually, <laughs> Sophie. What's a shrinker? Well, a, shrink a shrinker. What's is a pretty, Mum? I well, I think it means someone who's older, pre doesn't it? Pre-territories. It's someone who turned eighteen before the new future. Oh. We call you preties. Uneven. Mimi. Nonks. What? It's not her fault. She's old. She can't help it. I'm not that old. I'm trying actually. to help you here. Well, I don't think I need your help. See. Total Mimi. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, obviously. <laughs> Oof. Uh oh. You know what the real problem with you lot is? You just can't get over the fact that your beloved Disrupt are gone and you just don't fit in anymore. <clears throat> but the truth is, Disrupt were violent, oh. no co. Bricks being led by a fucking psycho. I'm you glad they lost. Fuck you should off. be too. Not everyone over 30 supported Disrupt Stacey. Not everyone, no. But one fuck off lot of you did. Oof. So go, Stacey. So go. Wow. We've all learned maybe a little bit more than we expected to there. <laughs> I'm genuinely yeah. delighted to have met Heat Rash. And before we end the show tonight, I think you're going to sing for us, aren't you? Yes, that's right. We're going to sing a song from no. Girls. No! I love them all called Pieces of My Heart. Oh. Which is about a real relationship I have with an actual <coughs> girl. Oh, no. give it a rest, mate. No one cares. <laughs> Come on, let's get on these stools, lads. Right. <laughs> this guy is actually bored, the one with the weird hair and like... So, um... Uh, what? Stacy. Can I get your contact? Oh, 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 she's 15. Go on, piss off and sing your song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Mega. <laughs> so, here they are with their latest single, Pieces of My Heart. Are you excited, Stacey? Not for me, no. I only listen to blip music and a bit of jizz core. Pop music is... Oh, yes, so I thought cool. I meant to mention this earlier. Here they are. Apparently, the new fangled boy band is James Singer, all the bloody time. What? Try along, eh? Keep the shot on whoever is currently singing the lead vocal. Oh, no. I saw you standing by the man you sat on with a brand new pair of black, cause baby, do you? Okay. You wandered into a bush and grabbed a vodka and stank. Took our assets and our wealth and drew them out of the bag. I 
gave you little pieces of my heart I didn't know two hearts could ever feel like this girl It's like you okay. were just made for me by Remington Smith I take all of the loves that didn't last Oh my god. Shed the new future as my bride. You snatch me inside. There's no need to hide all the times that you cry. As my old man used to say, you blow me away. I just want you to stay. I don't want you to pay. You make me crazier than Neil today. I didn't know how to work that multiplier on that song. Fuck the multiplier for now. I don't think he's even singing, to be honest. Okay. I need to be like... Ding! But still, I think the Bear song was the best. Mr. Bear, that was a masterpiece. Boo. Okay, let's give them that, yeah. Wow. That was fantastic. Thank you, Mika. That was, that was yeah. really good. <laughs> best of luck. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> now it's almost time for final thoughts tonight. And I've actually asked Stacey to write a few, and they're just being programmed uh -oh. into the auto queue now. Uh, now I, I have no idea what she's going to say. <laughs> so, fingers on that bleep button in the broadcast room, just in case. Um, nope. Take it away, Stacey. Come on, Stacey, let's go. My name is Stacey. I guess you know that by now. Don't know why I put that in there. Anyway. I don't watch the news. There's no need. You hear all the important stuff from your mates, so I don't know what's considered important anymore. But I'm pretty sure that it's not rehash movies and fucking boy bands, so anyway. We're not beeping anything anymore. I'm gonna talk about what's important to me. When Advance were first elected six years ago, I was nine and in a home. Not a family home like you call a home. This was a state children's home. No. It was, well, it was fucking awful, actually. It was like a Charles Dickens book. The roof leaked and the walls were damp some mornings. The food was bad. Drugs and alcohol were everywhere. 
no one cared. So it wasn't too bad then. (laughs) Because there weren't enough staff to manage us. And yes, as you'd imagine, there was a lot of... Some bad stuff went down there with some of the staff. Okay. Oh. Not all of them, but the others knew. And they didn't stop it. And then Advance won the election. And like a miracle, things started to change. They got better. We had nicer food. The home was not just repaired, but redecorated and kitted out with books and sports stuff and musical instruments and video games. Most of the staff were fired and the new ones, which there were more of, spent time talking and working with the bullies. And you know what? A second miracle. It worked. The bullying stopped. Life, my life, got better. Because finally, there was enough money to do the good things and advance had the gut to do it. I joined Go-Getters and on Liberation Night, that gave me a group of friends that I could talk with when the bombs went off and the power went out. Another miracle. I wasn't alone anymore. And that was the night I finally understood the importance of being in a team. So here's my final thought. I know the people who were doing better under the old system long to go back. You say, we were freer. But what you mean is, we were richer. But for every one of you, there is a hundred of me. And even now, after all you've had taken away, you are still doing better than I am, than I likely ever will. You still have homes of your own and families of your own. I'm losing house now. And I'll never have that. So maybe you should Who stop said? looking for the worst interpretation Nobody of says that. everything. This you can get anything you want, and realize girl. It's not for you. you're a kid still. It's for the millions like me. And you can cry and bleat all you want, but you're never going to get your money back because it's already okay. been spent. On miracles. Wow, thank you. Let's thank go. Thank you, Stacey, for that. Stand by. Oh! Tomorrow, better. <laughs> oh. Is that all right? Oh, yes. Yes, that was more than all right. Nicely done. Mm. I think you might have actually given them something to think about. So I guess you're going to be taking <sighs> me back to the home now, then. Um, I was thinking we could go out somewhere and I don't know have have Where a the meal. Police is there? Talk. About our options, if that's okay. Of course, Miss Wolf. Security will be standing by. Thank you. So they're always there then. Uh, there was a, a thing. A few uh. years ago. Oh, with that Jeremy bloke. I heard about that. Everyone did. Jeremy, my boy. Doesn't look old enough. She's growing on me. Yeah, she does that. <laughs> I hope we're gonna meet Jeremy once more. Maybe he's gonna come to me and work with me over here. That would be epic. I would like to. I would like that to happen. <laughs>